Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair Channel and today I have a, uh, a 2016 Ford F-150 and it has the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated engine and it has approximately 529,000 kilometers on it and today the customer's complaint is that they hear a, a humming or a whining noise the faster you go on the road with speed. And so uh, I'm suspecting that there could be a, a wheel bearing uh, issue. And so uh, we are going to have a look at it and, and go from there. Now the customer has stated that the, the noise starts at approximately 40 to 50 kilometers an hour and it, it gets worse as soon as they go on the highway and so, uh, we, so we are going to have a look at it. So uh, we found out our problem now. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear it but there's play uh, side to side and up and down 12 and 6 and 9 and 3 it feels like a wheel bearing I just need to confirm that it is a wheel bearing and I can hear it as I spin the wheel So uh, I unloaded the suspension just to check the ball joints and stuff and so now um, the play for the wheel bearing it, it disappeared so now I'm gonna try to put the wheel on the ground and raise the vehicle back up and see if the play uh, comes back so uh, we are going to be replacing the 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 hub assembly on this the wheel bearing this is a 21 uh, millimeter socket we are going to remove the uh, caliper there's two bolts one on top and one at the bottom to get ourselves a bungee cord to hold the caliper in place. Remove the rotor. You can use a bungee cord or a, 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 a caliper hanger or a uh, an old uh, a coat hanger or something and, and tie it down and so now we're just gonna remove the the hose here for the uh, vacuum uh, actuator We're just gonna remove this clip here for the ABS. Uh, it's it's hiding behind here. You guys are not able to see it. In the back. So 
So uh, you may need to go from underneath the hood for easier access. I need to remove the red retaining clip in order to get the ABS connector out. So once you pull this out, you'll be able to get the connector out. I broke the tab here. It seemed like that somebody has been in here uh, before me and, and, fiddle, and fiddled around with the connector. So it was difficult to uh, take off. So uh, I have to kind of uh, break the connector out because uh, the... Uh, this was pretty much the jammed in there. It would not uh, come out. And I don't know if there was a little bit of corrosion in there or not. But uh, I had a hard time trying to get the connector out. So I had to open this up. I had to, to, to split this open in order to take it out. But I should be okay to reuse this connector. It, uh, it, it shouldn't be an issue. So we're just going to clean it clean it with a uh, electrical contact uh, a cleaner afterwards we're going to leave the bolt uh, in here uh, we probably need to remove the flex hose because this is a uh, uh, in the way there's a clip in the back here too Take that out. Just uh, I remember that this goes behind the the brake line. Using a 10 uh, <laughs> millimeter socket, we're just going to to loosen this up for the the flex hose. I want to take it all the way out, just enough room to get the uh, the ABS harness uh, out of the way. So now uh, we're going to be removing the, the dust cap for the axle. Uh, 15 <laughs> millimeter to remove the axle nut. Now we're going to move the bolt for the locking hub uh, actuator, uh, <laughs> the bracket. They are, are 8 <laughs> millimeter in, in size for the socket.
so while we are here on this side we're just gonna remove the mounting bolts uh, for the hub probably we are going to loosen them first I'm going to loosen them it's a 17 mil We're going to turn the wheel on the other end so we're able to get the uh, the bolts out. There's two more bolts back here. Just going to uh, break them loose. Just move the caliper a little bit. other two bolts for the uh, the bracket for the hub uh, actuator actually there's only three bolts in total You don't need to remove them completely. You just need to <laughs> to get it uh, <laughs> out of the way. I actually really don't know if it's uh, <laughs> necessary to uh, remove this. So now remove the remainder of the bolts for the hub. So now the hub is out, uh, it doesn't look like there's any hammering required, it just came out. Just need to top it a little bit and then it'll come out. That's it. You can hear the noise. So now we're just going to clean all of the uh, the dirt here, debris, and the old grease. And we'll clean the surfaces here. Make sure everything is cleaned and, and lubricated properly. Don't want any of that dirt there.
probably want to clean the bolt as well. So now we're just going to wash down the area here to clean all the dirt out, debris. We're going to re-grease the area. You don't want any dirt or debris inside these holes. You make sure you want to make sure it's, uh, they are clean. So now we're gonna put some uh, Lucas uh, <laughs> red grease. You want to put the grease uh, everywhere including on the teeth here So now uh, make sure you grease the back of the new hub assembly and don't forget to grease the seal here, this one here. The seal that sits in the back here. So, uh, so we are going to install this. Uh, the uh, ABS sensor was on top. So we're going to uh, put it in. Put some grease here too, in the middle. I'm just going to temporarily install the bolts just to get the hub on so it won't uh, <laughs> fall off. It's raining right now, so I've been working a, a, against the weather the in, a, entire time. But it's not raining uh, that hard uh, 
at the moment so we are just going to snug the bolts up a little bit and then we are going to torque them after So now we are going to route the ABS uh, <laughs> sensor just uh, behind here. If you want, you may need to remove the, uh, I should have routed it before. If you want, you can remove the backing plate just to get it out of the way and then and, and put it uh, back on. Just move this out of the way because I, I don't want to damage the uh, the wire. I like guess and reinstall the bolts back. Just going to temporarily install the axle nut here. So now we are going to to reroute the uh, ABS uh, harness. So this was uh, underneath the uh, the flex hose.
You know, you can use like NTCs or grease or whatever you want to use. I use it because we live in the rust belt. And so bolts, they get rusted very easily. to tighten up the backing plate bolts we're just going to tighten up the backing plate bolts We're going to tighten up the uh, the bracket that holds the brake hose for the caliper. So we are going to route the ABS here. And then, uh, as we recall, this, go, this goes underneath the brake line here. And it clips back here in the back. And then, uh, <laughs> A suspension and then we're just gonna to fish it through in the back here and go from uh, underneath the hood so now we're under the hood uh, we just need to connect the connector to this one I'm gonna have to do it off uh, camera. So now I got it in. Uh, there's the red locking tab that goes along uh, with it, but uh, that one is broken, so I'm just gonna leave it. So I'm going to connect the, uh, the plastic clip uh, into the hole there. So make sure you put it into the hole. There we go. As long as the connector goes in and there isn't a pin fitment issue or anything like that, uh, and then it's all good. Um, it, it, sometimes you may run into issues like this. Um, it's it, it, it's not the end of the world, but uh, if everything works, then it's not that much of a uh, a, a big deal. So now we're gonna turn the wheel. And we're going to reinstall the, first off we are going to torque the bolts first for the hub. So uh, the torque spec for the, the mounting bolts are 129 uh, foot pounds. Just going to tighten it and run it down a little bit. Okay. 
We're gonna work in uh, crisscross fashion. And we are going to do the bottom here. Now the top. So now we're just going to install the bolts for the uh, the vacuum actuator locking hub. Make sure you get all the bolts in uh, by hand first. Uh, tighten up the bolts. I'm not sure what the torque spec is. You can just get them on tight. They don't require that much torque. Um, I'll see if I'll be able to find the torque spec f f for these. These bolts, they don't need to be on extremely tight, just until they are snug. I'm gonna remove that. Might have a, a replacement. So the one that I have is too small, so I might have to just reuse this. I can probably put another zip tie through here. So what I did, I was able to reuse the old clip here. 
I, I just put a new zip tie in here. I removed the old one and I'm able to put a new one so I can reuse this clip. You don't want this to be rubbing against the coil spring or on the suspension or anything. So you want to make sure you have that uh, secured uh, properly. So now it's all in. So now I'm just going to run this in. Uh, the torque spec for this is 30 uh, foot pounds. It doesn't take very much. So I'm just going to, to tighten it up for now and run it in. And then I'm going to uh, to torque it afterwards. Uh, so I'm supposed to be doing brake service later on, but because I need to get this truck done. I'm just going to clean the rotor uh, a, a tiny bit and we are going to reinstall the brakes and everything and, uh, and that should be it. So now we're going to torque the nut, the axle nut, to, to 30 uh, foot-pounds. Reinstall the the dust cap. Just put a little bit of anti seize. It's a it's a big hub. I'm just gonna spray some uh, fluid film on the hub, clean the rotor, and put everything back. Install the rotor. It's a heavy rotor. Install the brake the caliper.
torque the caliper bolts to 184 <laughs> foot pounds that's a considerable amount of torque for a caliper bolt There you go, 184. Remove the lug nut. And, uh, and that's all there is to it for replacing the wheel hub assembly on the uh, on this vehicle I'm just gonna go for a, a road test and then uh, confirm the repair and then uh, that's about it just uh, double check your work make sure everything is tight and then uh, <laughs> you're all good to go also, I just wanted to let you guys know about some aftermarket hub assemblies which may have some issues with the ABS uh, sensor. So uh, you probably want to test the, uh, the pins on the sensor to make sure it's not open because I've had some uh, aftermarket hub assemblies in the past where the circuit was open inside the wiring of the new hub assembly and the abs light would be on so before you put everything all back it's probably a good idea to, to, to test and to check for the the wiring harness and make sure it's not open or anything make sure it's working and then w once you've done that you can start to put everything uh, 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 all back together